All right, Roswell flight test crew back here at the AMA Expo 2014 in uh, Ontario, California. I'm talking with Patrick Smith at Aerial Media Pros. How are you doing, Patrick? Good, good. Now, you got quite a setup here, but how did you get into this? I have to say it's kind of by accident. Uh, I was flying for a hobby. I've been flying for like 14 years, and uh, by whim, I took a small point-and-shoot camera, put it on one of my styrofoam airplanes, flew it around, got home, put the footage on the computer, expecting, you know, nothing really cool, but was completely blown away. I quickly realized like this is aerial photography without having to get a full-size plane and it's just snowballed or anything. Now I'm seeing some serious hardware here. I mean you got red epics. I mean this is pro grade. This is you know filming. So how did you get into that industry? When I started filming with the point and shoot I quickly started getting clients that were asking can I fly a 5D? Can I shoot in HD? And stuff like that. So we had to quickly find a way to get these cameras in the air. Once we started using the multi-rotor technology we were able to confidently lift these cameras and then that snowballed into a red epic like can you shoot feature films and film in 5k so we reached out to companies like droidworks who built an amazing frame called the sky jib and now we had the capabilities to be able to carry these larger cameras ever since then that's been our passion we focus on filming in 5k now i notice in spite of the incredible hardware you got a whole pile of dji phantoms over here what's going on with that isn't that a little the, ball for you guys. The, the, the DJI Phantom is an amazing tool and it's just it's so hard to beat because for 879 right now you get the copter and it carries a stabilized gimbal so an entry level person they may want to fly an Epic right now but we don't recommend you go out and throw $100,000 in the air. Start with something small, go fly the heck out of it. You can have a blast if you crash it you're going to spend 12 bucks in props but learn the basics so then you can move up to something that you feel a little more comfortable with and you got the confidence in it. So now you guys are building these for you know for companies to use making movies and whatnot. What's the next step? Where do you go from here? The next step is we're really getting into agriculture and into the industrial area. We have big clients right now where we're doing uh, crop inspection. We're flying FLIR cameras and they're able to tell where the crop's getting moisture and where it's not. So this helps them maintain their, maintain their crops and you know create the best uh, outcome possible. So the industrial market being able to use these search and rescue uh, things that can actually help save lives and help build the economy that's what we're focusing on right now well that's great clearly that's the future anyway thank you so much Patrick, hey you for your bet time. thank great. you wonderful operation you've got here we'll, we'll see you around i'm sure thank you so much all right from AMA expo signing off take care